I'm Melanie and you're watching AKA Mommy. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my grocery haul. I just went to the gym and then went to the grocery store because we were completely out of produce. We went on vacation, came back, and I had to throw away pretty much everything we had because it went bad. So I went ahead and went to the store to pick up mostly produce. That's probably 95% of what I picked up. Um, and when I posted my video of sharing what's in my freezer, uh, some, I had a few people question like, why do you have that much food? Why do you stock up that much and so forth? And so I just wanted to share with you, this week is a good example of why I stock up when I can, when prices are really low, because this week I spent my entire weekly grocery budget pretty much on produce. Now granted, I will say I went to Walmart this week instead of Aldi, which is a little bit more expensive, but that's just what I had time for today. So I spent $98 on what I'm about to show you. And um, I really didn't have to buy anything like meat or pasta or rice or anything like that because I already have all of those things on hand in my house. So let me go ahead and flip the camera around and show you what I picked up. Okay, so starting right over here, um, I'm just gonna go through and tell you, we have um, a dinner that we are going to tonight and I'm responsible for bringing salad. So that's why I picked this up. I got some salad as well as these tomatoes and I got some cucumbers. So I'm just gonna make a salad and take, um, that's a good healthy option. I also got some carrot chips for snacking and some of these matchstick carrots. I really like these as well. And I will probably throw some of these in this salad as well, just to bulk it up. I picked up some bananas, um, some lemons over here for water, some raspberries and some strawberries. I picked up four zucchini. Um, three cucumbers, some sugar snap peas, again, just for snacking. I picked up an orange and a yellow bell pepper for snacking or meals. I got some sweet potatoes. Now, I wanted to point this out, okay? I know, I'm probably silly, you guys, but this says that you can basically microwave for eight minutes in the bag and then serve, right? That's what it says. But look how dirty these are. Like, please don't do that. Take them out of the bag and cook them. I'm sorry, that's probably really not nice, but these actually still have dirt on them. So yes, I will be taking them out of the bag to cook them. Just wanted to share that with you guys. I picked up two different kinds of these small potatoes here. These um, potatoes I have had in the past, and what I'm going to do is most likely cook these in the microwave, and I'm unsure about whether or not I will use the little seasoning pack or not. I, I'm not sure, but these are really good option for me because they're really, really small, and this entire container you can just throw in the microwave. Um, so I, I might use the, the seasoning, I might not. But I also picked up a bag of the same, it's the same brand, but it's a bag of potatoes and I can make these for my family one night. Um, these are really just for me to do a little bit of meal prep for myself um, when I'll be having lunches or whatnot different from my family. I picked up some shrimp for us to have one night. This is for my kiddos. Like I said, we are going to a dinner tonight, but not my whole family, and I need something easy for them to have. So I picked them up some of these chicken breast chunks. So they will have those. They enjoy having those when we're not at home. Um, down here I got some half and half mix, which is basically half spinach, half spring mix, and I really like this. I also pick up um, a smaller container of baby spinach specifically to have in my Shakeology. Um, it just helps me get in all of my greens for the day. I have gotten in the habit of using Parmesan cheese when I'm really wanting cheese rather than cheddar or anything else because a little bit of this goes a really long way because it is um, salty and has a nice bite to it. You don't need very much to make you feel like you had that cheese sensation that you were looking for. So I've been using Parmesan cheese when I really want cheese, but I don't um, want to necessarily go way off my, my diet. So I got some more coconut milk. This is what I use in my coffee. I have stopped using um, Coffee Mate Creamer. I know it was really, really hard for me to give up, but I use the unsweetened coconut milk. It is only 45 calories per serving. And if I remember right, a serving is a full cup. So that's pretty good. Um, I usually only use a, a fourth to a half of a cup at the most in my coffee. I do like mine pretty creamy. So um, that is what I have been using. I got a pineapple. 
I got some sandwich thins. These are for me primarily. If my family wanted them, they could absolutely have them, but um, I got them for me because they're a little bit better of an option when I want to have a hamburger than eating an actual hamburger bun. This is the bread that I eat. It is sprouted, um, and I like the Nature's Own brand. It's really good. And then um, my husband and I have decided to switch over to whole grain bread rather than white bread. So we will not be purchasing that anymore. Um, but yes, I did get two loaves of the whole grain bread. And then the only other thing that I purchased, I did get, you guys are going to think I'm silly. We are going to be leaving for dinner here pretty shortly and I'm not going to have time to thaw out chicken. And the dinner that we're going to, I'm having a hard time here. Um, the dinner that we're going to, basically we're grilling. Some people are bringing steak, some people are bringing, you know, chicken, whatever. Most people I think are actually bringing steak. But the, um, the dinner, you basically bring your own meat and then bring one side for everyone to share. So that is why I'm taking the salad and then I'm taking this chicken, um, I bought this even though I have a freezer full of chicken because I won't have time for any of that to thaw out before we have to leave. And so um, I got this, it was only $6.11 for these and that is what myself and my husband are going to have along with some salad. So that is everything that I picked up, I think. I don't think that I missed anything here, you guys. Um, it really doesn't look like that much, but everything that I picked up, I was completely out of. So $100, it goes really fast. So um, that's everything that I picked up. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this grocery haul. I hope that you have enjoyed seeing what I picked up to basically replenish our refrigerator um, once we got back from vacation. I did go to Walmart yesterday and I picked up milk and something else, but it was not food. There was something else we needed. Um, so I did go to Walmart, but when I went to Walmart, I didn't realize that I was completely out of produce. So I did have to make a second trip today. So that's gonna be it. You guys, make sure that you give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and make sure you subscribe if you like these types of videos. I do post grocery hauls on my channel every single week, and I will be back with another video for you guys really soon. Take care.